Hi, I'm Izzat and I head the experiential learning program at India Heights. I'm really happy that you have decided to send your child on a Himalayan trek or you might also be accompanying your child on a Himalayan trek. And this video is made especially for parents like you. One thing that I would really wish an outcome of this video to be is that you feel a sense of uh, security and safety that your children are in safe hands. Because just the last one year we have handled more than 2,000 children. We've taken them on treks and we have had a wonderful experience with them and so have they. So having said that, there are a few things that you can do to make this experience even better for your child. I will list a few and I'm sure you have many ideas of your own. But what you can start with is uh, along with your child, look at the trek on the website, look at where it's actually located, trace it on the map, read a little bit about the culture of that region, about the history of the place, the geography. Don't do too much, but a little bit because that will help make this trek come alive for your child. The second thing that you could do and involve them in is actually packing their own backpacks. So along with them, go through the list of things to take. You can watch videos by Neha and Swati on how to pack a backpack along with them. And then they can pack their own bags. You can supervise, but don't do it for them. Another thing is you might be a little concerned about their nutrition while they are away on the trek. They will get excellent vegetarian food that's really nutritious. But if you are thinking of sending snacks along with them, please try to send snacks which do not come in packaging. Something nutritious at the same time environmentally friendly. And involve them in deciding what would fit that category so that they feel responsible about making the right choice also. So once the trek begins, if you are with them or not with them, please don't worry too much about them because they are in safe hands. And even if they go through hardship, and if it's too cold or they're not eating well enough, it really doesn't matter too much. We are looking out for them. And this hardship is going to really be something that they will take a lot away from. Once you're back in the city, sit with your children, listen to their stories. If they've written poems about the trek, if they have beautiful drawings of which they have made on the trek or after coming back, we would love if you could share that with us. We have a Facebook page, we have a website and we would be really happy to publish it. If you have any questions, if you have any doubts, please feel free to get in touch with me and I'll be most happy to answer your questions. Have a wonderful trek and all the best.